Jimmy, tough place to come, but coming away with a 1-0 victory. How are you feeling about it? It was a hard watch. Um, it wasn't pretty by any means. Uh, but mission accomplished, I think, is the best way to describe it. This is a very, very tough place to come, tough conditions. Um, and, and we just had to stand up and be counted. Um, and I think we're doing that now a lot better than we did last season. My bugbear last season was that we were a bit naive in those moments, in those kind of games. Uh, and we came here last season and drew nil-nil when, you know, it, it shouldn't have been a nil-nil. We should have, we should have come away with three points, but we didn't. And then this season, we just seem more more capable uh, of uh, of dealing with it. But the performance wasn't great. Um, I'll credit them for that, I guess. Made it difficult. The game wasn't great in general. Uh, but win's a win. For the last 15 minutes or so, we really did weather a big spell of pressure from Paul. Do you feel like the lads kind of enjoy the task of being up against it? Well, I think we created that pressure ourselves by not keeping the ball well enough, um, making poor decisions. Um, yeah, I think I think we created that. It was very conducive to a passing game of football. Pitch was very slow, bobbly. Um, but you got to do better. You got to keep the ball better. And if you don't keep the ball, you got to put it in better areas. Um, and then, yeah, we, they, you know. If you give the ball away, you, you get put under pressure. So um, yeah, I, I think that they, they they they're more capable this year of dealing with a, dealing with a team that's going to put it on you and stick it on you. And they don't they didn't break down, they didn't falter. And at the end of the day, I, think, I do think Gould has only made one save in the game. You know, so although that there was pressure, there wasn't they weren't they weren't peppering our goal, and we weren't living a charmed life or anything like that. We were just defending. And being dogged, I think he's, he's made one save all game. So, yeah, it's uh, they, they they're proud of this. You know, three clean sheets to start a season. Um, four if you include Forest Green, which is a great game for us at home. So, they're they're, they're proud of that and they're going to fight for it. So, it's, which is great. Now we get a bit of uh, downtime before uh, before returning back to the Snows Stadium this week. What are you potentially looking for when you review the footage of the of this game? Um, shape in the first half didn't feel right. There was something wrong. There's too many gaps. Um, too many gaps in areas where I don't like there to be gaps. Um, so I've got to, we got to, we got to figure that out. Why that? Why that was so? Uh, but mostly, I'll just concentrate on what we're going to do. Uh, against Hungerford and how we're going to pose them threats and how we're going to nullify theirs. Um, you've got to kind of you've got to kind of move on quickly in football. Look at the look at certain aspects of today, but focus on the next game, the next next task ahead. Um, you know, today we get to chalk another one off, um, and then and then we get a full week to, to prepare for a very tough game. You know, the only side that beat us twice last season. That's a bit of a splinter that I'd like to pull out, but it's not me pulling it out. The players have got to turn up and perform, and um, you know, and, and do their jobs, which you know they did today. Because the job, the job was to come here and get three points. First start for Charlie Austin in a in a stag shirt, and he was lively, but had that one chance early on, which I think maybe with a bit more football in his legs, you'd uh, yeah. expect him to bury. Yeah, absolutely. But he's looking great. His work ethic's good. He's creating all sorts of problems. He's great back to goal. He's just got so much quality. And yeah, we've just got to we got to get him fit without breaking him. And we just got to we got to get him into a into a place. Probably eight, ten games in, he'll be he'll be about where he needs to be. And we've got to do that methodically. We've got to do it carefully. You know, in football, you can't go from naught to a hundred. That's when silly things happen. You force players onto the pitch. We're not going to do that, and we don't need to do that. Because I've got a strong enough squad, so um, yeah, we'll we'll do it. We'll do right by Charlie, and we'll make sure he he gets up to where he needs to be in a safe manner. Lovely. See you at the snows on Saturday. Thank you.